Welcome to Frankly Studios. This is Ned, and I'm going to give a play-by-play of a 16-minute sketch for a song I'm working on. 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 I'm recording to Ableton, so after the session, I'll do a final mix and post the tune to SoundCloud. What you're about to watch is a standard production session, which means it's repetitive, filled with mistakes, sketch with mistakes, and sometimes it looks like I'm just sitting there. Lots of people ask, but what is it that you do? This video is one answer. Production is usually not very exciting. I'm starting out by laying in a couple of drum patterns from the Chaosolator Pro Plus. I'll then set up the two patterns to alternate automatically every four bars. These are stock drums on the Chaosolator and the distortion is built in, but in retrospect I think I had the output set to 11, so part of the distortion may be the fact that I like me some kick. <laughs> And next comes the bass of pre and this is up, press is up, pre and this and this is up, and pre and this up. One of my favorite old sounds by Microcore. It just cuts through, it's really round and bad. This up, Microcore set at a local pawn shop for months before we finally got the price down to about $200 and I had to buy it. Um, this is the one that was before USB, but it's still that classic synthesizer. synthesizer. You, you've heard it on it so many albums in the last eight years. Uh, it's used as the intro to a John Shiny song. It's, it's real prominent in several uh, Gorilla songs uh, on Plastic Beach. And there's a lot of uh, stock patches you hear on the radio, just like with the old DX7. Uh, the DX7 was famous for being impossible to program, an impossible beast. But uh, microcord you can't program. It, it's actually not that difficult to program.
solo. I had a basic menu patch set up on the MS20 and I tweaked it a little bit for the solo. Um, it's just your basic sine wave glider. Um, I was genuinely surprised when I got this um, little MS20. It's the 87% size model, the reissue. And uh, learning to patch it is, is very strange, 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 strange to begin with because it's not a true modular. Not a true modular. Uh, patching it actually rewires it internally. Um, the, it's got those classic cord filters though, the original ones from back in the day from uh, when this machine was bigger and uh, everybody was using it on hip-hop albums. Um, it screams like it's being fed into a wood chipper, but then it can play the sweetest flute you have ever heard. The MS-20. Get one, get one, get one, get one, get one, get one, get one. Get one. compressors and side chain compressors and adjusting the delay and doing just some basic post work. Um, I'm not going to talk a lot while I'm uh, going through this and we may speed up the video um, just to get it to the end of it. Uh, I am going to post the final song on SoundCloud and I'll uh, leave a link to that in the, uh, in the comments below um, so you won't be able to see what we're working towards. It's, it's a reasonable sketch. It's, it doesn't sound particularly great. Uh, but it's 
a sketch for some uh, musical thoughts that I've had that uh, need to get down. I haven't recorded it quite a while, so uh, it's good to get back in the studio. Uh, so do go to the SoundCloud link and have a listen to the funny song after you've listened to this repetitive uh, uh, bass line and, uh, and drums going for 16 minutes. Uh, thanks for listening.